<laughs> you know, you try to stay nice for the camera, and yet it's real life, it's a construction site. So here we are on a rainy day, and uh, we're outside the house. This wall, with no windows, and with no reason for anybody to be back here, is where we're gonna put our HVAC equipment. On the inside, we've got the evaporator coils for the heat pumps. On the outside, you have to put the condenser coils. These are things that on typical houses when I was growing up, um, you could hear from the street because they'd go Tick! And so ours are gonna be perfectly silent. But even with that, you kind of want them to have their own space so that they're not gonna get uh, buried in leaves, they're not gonna get kids kicking soccer balls at them and stuff like that. So this is where we're gonna put them. Now, we do a lot to try and separate uh, equipment from the structure so that we can minimize vibrations because we're near the busiest airport in the world. We already have a lot of noise from outside that we're trying to deal with. We do not wanna be doing things like attaching the condenser coils to the house when I've got the ground right here. So we live in Atlanta. I don't have to worry about snow coming in at a foot deep so that I don't have to elevate it up and a fantastic solution that I found when looking for a way to place this equipment that's weird sizes. We're using Mitsubishi HVAC equipment, and depending on who you go to, which HVAC supply house, they deal in different brands. And of course, all the brands have totally different sized equipment. So I went looking for a really high performance way of mounting these compressor uh, systems, the condenser coils, and I found Hercules. So these pads are three inches thick, like a typical high performance pad is gonna be, but they're very lightweight. Uh, they're made out of the same stuff that you can build a house on top of. So they're high density EPS foam, but they're covered in basically truck, pickup truck bed liner, which is very hardcore stuff. Strength wise, the company makes a big deal about the fact that you could roll over these with your truck. I would love to do that, but these are brand new and I'm not gonna get them even uh, remotely scuffed up. They already have a little bit of dust from having traveled uh, to get here. These two happen to be in their standard size inventory, so that was great, but you can make custom size stuff. They even can do things where you can mount the equipment on the roof because they can make triangular shaped pads so that you fasten that down to the roof and now you've got a flat level surface to put your equipment on top of. Kind of sophisticated. I'm not comfortable doing that, First house, last house, I hope. I wanted to have the equipment someplace where it was really easy to get to. There are also a vibration pad of their own, aside from the fact that we've got the, the ground here as well to absorb vibration. And it's not gonna get hurt by freezing and thawing because it is made of insulation, so that's kind of a cool thing. Uh, now, our house is generally foam-free, but anything that has these unique properties like the thermal buck and these Hercules pads Foam is perfectly fine. Number one, it's outside the enclosure. And number two, foam can do some things that other materials simply cannot. If you were to make this out of pressure treated wood and then put vibration pads on top of it, there's a whole bunch of different ways to do it. And I'm trying again to build a house that is as maintenance free and as durable as possible. And so that's why I went with this solution. Um, I'm just basically gonna level out to this ground right here. You'll see this in the install video, but we're gonna have a bed of gravel to make sure that water can go away. Put these right on top, make sure they're level, plop the condenser coils down on top of them. Easy peasy. Obviously, we've got our big ducted system and our small ductless mini split, and they're gonna go together right here between our two ERV ports on the outside of the house. Now, since Hercules can make whatever size you want and whatever thickness you want out of this material, I thought of a really great way to use it for something else. And so we had them make this. We've never really had a permanent set of stairs for the tiny lab and my family has been climbing in and out of it on some pretty hack contraptions that I've built over the years um, and that have also broken. And so I went ahead and ordered one of these too because it's meant to go outside, meant to be durable and also pretty lightweight. They're heavy enough that they're not going to go flying when you kick it, but it's, it's nice that it's mobile. And it fits perfectly. I'm moving this really gross thing out of the way. Here, see what kind of bugs ugh, have made a home in it. No wonder we had ants in our house. Open the door yourself. Can you, you do it? Can you open the door? Let's First see. time. Whoa! Wow, that's very, like, very much your height. And then you can just step right out of the way and you're still on it. Oh, wow. 
So please comment if you have other ways of doing this where you're going to remove all the vibration and the condensation issues and keep things out of the snow if you're up north. Uh, please do also like and subscribe. Tune in next time. <laughs>